ray diagrams for convex mirrors when the object is in front of F. Step one, let's draw a convex mirror. Principal axis. I'm going to arbitrarily choose a center point C. Let's say in this case that my center of curvature for this convex mirror is 4 centimeters meaning that the focal point is 2 centimeters. Measuring from the center point, 2 centimeters away is the F, another 2 centimeters is the mirror, and these are the F and C behind the mirror. I'll label them F prime, C prime to let us know they're behind the mirror. By the way, to draw an accurate mirror, convex mirror, you can use a compass if you like or you can eyeball it. I know that this is a convex mirror because the object will go on this side and the mirror bulges toward me. The purpose of this demo is to show you an object closer to the mirror than F. To ray diagram this, first, a point at the top of the object, draw two incident rays traveling towards the mirror. First one comes in parallel to the principal axis. The second one comes in as if it's going to go through the F. And we've already passed by this F, so we're going to use the F on the back of the mirror. Those are two incident rays. The reflected rays. This incident ray up top is going to reflect off in an upward direction. Connect the other end of the line to the F on the back of the mirror to be accurate. This is now the reflected ray here. I'm going to continue this reflected ray behind the mirror. Second incident ray hits the mirror here and reflects parallel to the principal axis, like so. On the back of the mirror, that ray will, will continue on as a virtual ray behind the mirror. These last two lines are reflected. With color, The image is formed at the intersection of these two virtual rays. The image is virtual. It's also upright and diminished in size. These three are true all the time for any object distance that's smaller than the focal length of the lens. Thanks.